Welcome back to Smackdown, and not just any Smackdown, but a groundbreaking edition of Smackdown. Yes, the rumours are true, WrestleMania has indeed been delayed by two weeks, for the main reason being that tonight, both Raw and Smackdown are under the same roof, because tonight we have got our very first Raw and Smackdown draft. Yes, that is right, following WrestleMania in two weeks time, we are going to be entering a new era in the WWE with some brand new rosters. So as I say, this comes into effect following WrestleMania, however tonight is the night where the initial stages of this draft will take place, because tonight both Raw and SmackDown will respectively pick their top 10 picks for the upcoming new era in WWE. The opening picks for the draft will get underway momentarily, but before we do, let's confirm tonight's main event and a very special main event. It is the Raw World Champion taking on the SmackDown WWE Champion for the first time ever. It is going to be the Undertaker going one on one with Seth Rollins. However, let's get the show underway with some draft action, with the opening five picks respectively for both Raw and SmackDown. So here we go, draft time. Let's get this going with Vince McMahon's Monday Night Raw. Who is he going to pick? Oh, and what a pick that is. Vince McMahon drafting the shield to Monday Night Raw. Seth Rollins, the WWE Champion, and former Tag Team Champions Dean Ambrose and Emma Reigns going to the red brand. And of course, not only the shield going to the red brand, but the WWE Championship. A massive opening move by Vince McMahon. How is the SmackDown GM and McFoley going to respond? And straight away, Mick Foley, even in the odds. Moments ago, Raw took the SmackDown Champion, while well, this time, SmackDown taking the Raw World Champion, because as we are seeing, Mick Foley has drafted both The Undertaker and Kane to SmackDown. Who's going to be up next? Another great pick by Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon picking the Intercontinental Champion. The man will challenge the Undertaker at WrestleMania for the World Championship. Y2J, Chris Jericho going to Monday Night Raw. Our next for SmackDown. Shawn Michaels, the number one contender for Seth Rollins. WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Now going to the blue brand. Another fantastic pick for Mick Foley. So just to recap, already in the opening four picks. We have got The Shield and Chris Jericho confirmed for Monday Night Raw and the Brothers of Destruction and HBK Shawn Michaels going to the blue brand, going to SmackDown. Let's continue this. And what a massive pick this one is. Arguably the hottest free agent in wrestling today, AJ Styles, now signing in for the red brand. You're going to be seeing AJ Styles each Monday night on WWE Raw. And the top picks just keep on coming. Mick Foley now signing the NWO collectively to Friday Night Smackdown. So we have got the Tag Team Champions, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the Outsiders, as well as the Big Show. The NWO returning to the brand where they originally made their mark. The NWO coming to Smackdown. Back on the red side, Vince McMahon drafted Triple H to Raw. So the man that will be Vince McMahon's tag team partner at current WrestleMania in that GM vs GM winner take all tag team match. The son-in-law of the boss going to Raw. And time and time again, Mick Foley, the GM of SmackDown, responding with another top notch pick. Finn Balor, the US Champion, confirmed for SmackDown. And what a pick this one is. The man that will face John Cena come WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan, picking up a fight for Raw. Daniel Bryan headed to Monday Night Raw. And finally now in this initial round of draft picks, draft pick number five for SmackDown. Not just one man, but getting four men. Eric Crowen, Braun Strowman, Luke Harper, and Bray Wyatt, collectively known of course as the Wyatt Family, now officially signing for Mick Foley and the Wyatt Family staying on SmackDown. So that is the opening five picks respectively for Raw and SmackDown. Another five each coming later on in the show. But let's get tonight's in-ring action underway because Luke Harper, of course, the latest pick for SmackDown already in the ring because he is in action up next. It is Luke Harper taking on another SmackDown signee, Kane, with the WWE Hardcore Championship on the line. What a great way to kick off SmackDown. Of course, Kane and The Undertaker collectively, the Brothers of Destruction, the opening pick for McFoley this evening. 
The Undertaker, as we mentioned, of course, the world champion. Not forgetting, though, Kane is the current hardcore champion. And in this match, Kane put that championship up for grabs. Luke Harper versus Kane for the hardcore championship. Of course, Kane has been the hardcore champion now for quite some time and has defeated many men along the way of his path to destruction. Don't forget the hardcore championship is a very unique championship here in WWE because this championship is defended 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, so no rest for the Big Red Machine. Nevertheless, this match should be an interesting one and a great way to kick off tonight's in-ring action on this very special edition of SmackDown. Kane with that legendary entrance. Oh, but the Wyatt family's Luke Harper wants none of it. Luke Harper attacking Kane at the first opportunity. A massive super kick to the chin of the Big Red Machine. And now a bounce shot. Now, personally, I would have thought Luke Harper should have gone for the cover there. However, Luke Harper clearly feels that is not enough. Despite the super kick, despite the bounce shot, Luke Harper not going for the pin. Oh, and now a second bounce shot. Kane could be in trouble already. I think Luke Harper getting a bit carried away because Kane back to his feet. And Luke Harper cannot believe it. These two now nose to nose. And Kane showing why he is the hardcore champion. The big boot to the face of Harper. And that pre-match attack could be coming back to bite Harper in the you-know-where. Because Kane showing why he is the hardcore champion. One of the most resilient men in the entire WWE. And Harper again getting cocky on that top rope. Massive mistake. Kane there throwing the massive man down the hard way onto the mat. And in fairness, both these men, two great big men here now officially on the SmackDown brand. As I say, both these men officially drafted the SmackDown. The Hardcore Championship that has been on Raw for many years now, finally making its way back to the blue brand. And fair to say, some interesting times to come, especially keeping in mind with the 24-7 rule. But this Hardcore action now spin into the outside of the ring, as we have seen many, many times. These matches, of course, no disqualification, pinfalls anywhere in the arena. As I say, Kane has been a dominant champion. All that reign of dominance continue this evening. It could be easier said than done when you're facing Luke Harper. Luke Harper, a member of the Wyatt family. However, many believe he is very underrated as a single superstar. So Luke Harper this evening has got a great opportunity to show the world exactly what he can do. However, easier said than done when you're facing a man as dominant as the Big Red Machine. Although to Luke Harper's credit, so far, a pretty good showing against the champion. The near 300 pounder there off the top rope like he wants to cruise away. And as I say, so far so good for Luke Harper. And Kane, it might be seven foot, but we were down on the map. You are as small as anyone. Great tactics early on by Luke Harper. And now again, more weapons come into play. The steel chair now. One shot. Two shots. Harper wedging that chair in the corner. Nice wrestle by Kane. Sending Harper up into the turnbuckle. And now a running power slam. Kane's opportunity now to get back into this one. Both these men very similar in size. I would say near 7 foot in that 300 pound range. A very hard-hitting full contest early on. We're in a press line. Oh, look, Harper, what a none of it. Nice reversal. And now into the back suplex. Kane there, taking on the hard way. Back first, neck first, drilled into the mat. Harper, back into the ring. One of more weapons. We've already got a championship, already got a steel chair. And those are going to be joined now by what looks to be a Singapore Kane or a Kendo stick. The hardcore champion now being savaged by Luke Harper. Picking Kane back to his feet and now into the corner. 
Again, the Kendo stick with the choke. Kane could be in a lot of trouble. Kane has faced many men for this championship, but arguably not a man as unorthodox as Luke Carper. As I say to many, Luke Carper, a very underrated as a singles wrestler. So we will see what exactly Harper can do as a solo act here this evening. Although his luck could be changing now because Kane, this solo single ball Kane in hand, a massive shot to the cranium. Luke Harper down. Kane, one half of the Brothers of Destruction. Clearly feeling now his time has come. Signature Kane, a sidewalk slam. Kane now feeling the end could be coming. Sigurd for that choke slam. A move that has put many of the great staff for the 1 2 3. Choke slam time. Luke Harper though, reversing the choke slam into a super kick. A super kick HBK would be proud of, I would say. Harper in the corner, looking for one of his devastating maneuvers. Oh, look at that. The massive boot out of the corner. This one could be over. One, two, and Kane kicking out on the last opportunity. Luke Harper coming so close to becoming the Hogwarts champion. And Luke Harper cannot quite believe it. What has Luke Harper got to do to keep Kane down for the one, two, three? Well, clearly he feels the table could be that way to victory. Of course, we will see. Kane, not a stranger to tables, has put many a man for a table back on the red brand. Kane, not the only Brother of Destruction in action here this evening. Of course, as we found out in tonight's main event, it will be Raw vs Smackdown, WWE Champion vs World Champion, The Undertaker taking on Seth Rollins for the first time ever. However, back in this one, Luke Harper feeling he is moments away from victory. But Luke Harper now in a world of trouble. Look at that, came back to his feet. A massive German suplex there off the turnbuckle. And Harper's overconfidence could come back to hold him now. The championship shot to the cranium. Harper being pulled back to his feet. And look at that, head first, skull first, into the wedge steel chair. Moments ago, we thought Luke Harper was in firm control, but just like this, Kane showing his fan an audience why he is the hardcore champion. Kane as resilient as they come. And Luke Harper now realizing he is facing a monster. A massive power bomb through the table. And this one has got to be over. But Kane not going for the cover. Instead, Kane, girl of that steel chair. Kane, of course, one of the brand new faces of the SmackDown brand. And I think Kane this evening want to show the boys in the back why he is the hardcore champion. And Kane looking to prove a point. If the power bomb for the table wasn't enough, the exclamation point now, the tombstone under the steel chair. No doubt about it, this one is over. And Kane leaving SmackDown as he walked in, still the hardcore champion. Although, as we know, Kane walking into SmackDown as a Raw superstar, now leaving SmackDown as a SmackDown superstar, along with his brother, The Undertaker. But nevertheless, Kane victorious, leaving the hardcore champion, defeating Luke Carper here this evening. The crowd on their feet, they have witnessed a very entertaining opening match of the show. But look who it is. Eric Rowan, Luke Harper's white family brother. What a sudden reaction. Although he could be regretting this decision. It was almost instantly Eric Rowan taken down. And Eric Rowan, much like Luke Harper, going for the ride. Taken down with a choke slam. Don't forget, as we mentioned, the Hardcore Championship is under the 24-7 rule. So it would seem Eric Rowan not only looking to avenge his Warwick family brethren, however, looking to make his own challenge for the Hardcore Championship. 
but as I say, he could be soon regretting that decision. The table now being set up by the Big Red Machine. And this has got bad news written all over it. Some massively bad news for Eric Crowen. Could be a coming. And here we go, Eric Rowan set for the ride yet again, this time for a table. A massive choke slam from in the ring to the out of the ring through the table. Eric Rowan destroyed by the big red machine. Kane seeing off basically two challengers here this evening. Again, showing why he is the hardcore champion. Once again, celebrating the crow still on their feet. Oh, but look at this. Heath Slater now looking to make his own challenge on the championship. But, oh, change of heart by Slater. He looked into the eyes of the big red machine and he knew. Kane now forces Slater onto the outside of the ring. And Slater now realizing it, backtracking. Doesn't want any part of the big red machine this evening. Bad move by Slater. Slater looking to escape through the crowd. Oh, but look at this. From behind, another member of the Warrior family attacking the Big Red Machine. This time, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, another new member of the SmackDown roster, looking to make his mark in the Hardcore division. Luke Harper unsuccessful. Eric Crown unsuccessful. Can Braun Strowman do what the others didn't? And defeat K tonight for the Arkle title. Choke slam could be a coming. But that move is a move, of course, that K knows all too well. Rise from a choke slam. And Strowman could be following suit with Eric Crone and Luke Harper. Because Kane, how the hell does he do it? Still battling on. And basically, what is his fourth opponent? Somehow, someway, Kane finding a way to fight on. But that fight could be ending. Strowman now looking for a powerbomb on the concrete. Oh, I bet Kane with the back body drop. Strowman arriving at pain on the map. Kane singing for a choke slam. But this time, Strowman reversing it. And now this monster. The seven foot mammoth of a man destroying Kane, sending Kane into the stage, into the ramp, back and forth, damage after damage being done. And he finally hits it, a devastating choke slam onto the concrete. Surely this one is over. We have got a new Marvel champion. One, two, and that slight delay by the referee could have saved Kane's Hardcore championship. Strowman cannot believe it. Kane kicking out. And look at this, Kane once again, the Brazilian seat most men can only dream of, a massive choke slam to the seven footer. And now signaling for the tombstone. Tombstone time. Oh, the tombstone, he's got to be dead. Braun Strowman driven head first onto the concrete, but Kane absolutely exhausted. Somehow, some way, Braun Strowman finding a way to crawl away. Kane has basically seen off four opponents here this evening, but the exhaustion now clear to see. A great show by Kane here this evening, but wait, what is this? Finn Balor, the US champion, diving off the stage onto Kane. Finn Balor, another SmackDown superstar. And look at this, the coup de grace now off the stage. Don't forget the 24 7 rule. Bound up into the cover, following that stage dive, coup de grace. And is this a new champion? Yes, it is. Finn Balor basically picking up the scraps. Kane defeated Luke Harper officially. Then saw off challenges from Eric Rowan, Heath Slater, and Braun Strowman. 
but in what basically was the fifth man in quick succession following that stage dive coup de grace can you believe it Finn Balor the US champion even Smackdown a double champion Finn Balor the brand new hardcore champion However, moving on to our second match of the evening, it is going to be Daniel Bryan potentially making his last match on appearance of this evening. Of course, Bryan drafted the role earlier on. He'll be facing Baron Corbin momentarily. Another match that should be pretty interesting. Baron Corbin remains undrafted currently. Although, as I say, Daniel Bryan has been drafted by Vince McMahon to the Raw brand. But wait, John Cena attacking Daniel Bryan pre-match. Of course, these two men, former best friends, now better rivals. John Cena, but not just any John Cena. This new John Cena that we have seen in recent weeks. But you must not have his former tag team champion partner. And this rivalry heating up as we head towards WrestleMania because in two weeks it will indeed be Daniel Bryan versus John Cena on the grander stage of them all. So unfortunately, Daniel Bryan, Baron Corbin called off now due to that pre-match attack by John Cena. But the good news is that it is now time for the second round of draft picks. So momentarily, we're going to be getting another five picks for both Raw and SmackDown respectively. And here we go, Raw once again kicking it off. And draft pick number six, the King of Swing, Cesaro. Smackdown Cesaro now leaving the blue brand, heading to the red brand. Cesaro heading to Monday Night Raw. And John Cena, a man we saw moments ago, the man that attacked Daniel Bryan before his match, and the man that will face Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. John Cena now officially confirmed as a member of the Smackdown roster. Raw continuing the drafts now. And what a pick by Raw, the man that will face Bray Wyatt in two weeks at WrestleMania, Sting, heading to the red brand. Back over to SmackDown, and once again, SmackDown heading to NXT, and picking up one of NXT's bigger superstars, Samoa Joe officially moving to the blue brand. Back to Raw, this up man picking the Viper, Randy Orton. We haven't seen Orton in action for a while, but he is back now. And Randy Orton heading to Vince McMahon's Monday Night Raw. But back over to Mick Foley and his next pick for SmackDown. Sami Zayn now officially confirmed for the blue brand. Sami Zayn staying on SmackDown. Back to Raw. Up next, Vince McMahon's next pick, Baron Corbin. This time Vince raiding NXT. Another great NXT prospect, Baron Corbin now signing for Raw. Mick Foley now signing a top-notch tag team. Some fellow Attitude Era alumni, Benny Gunn and the Road Dog, the New Age Outlaws, coming to SmackDown. And up next, Raw's final draft pick this evening. And you buy one, you get two free. Not one man, but three. The New Day, Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston and Biggie Langston signing for Raw and heading to Monday nights. But finally, SmackDown's final draft pick this evening. And what a draft pick. This one is going to be arguably a sleeper pick. It is none other than former NXT champion Kevin Owens. So as far as tonight's draft picks go, that is it for tonight. So we have got our opening 10 picks for both Raw and SmackDown. The remaining unsigned superstars will be drafted following tonight's SmackDown. So stay tuned for news on that. However, draft picks down, but action still to come. Because up next, it is the newly signed Raw Superstar Cesaro taking on the unsigned Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas to some a very underrated superstar, and Bo of course remaining currently unsigned to both Raw or SmackDown, so looking to make his mark in the scene then, he'll be taking on one of Raw's newest signees, the King of Swing Cesaro. However, as I say, Bo looking to make his mark this evening. Although the SmackDown audience, if that's anything to go by, not too keen on Bo. So, bad news for Bo.
Cesaro was Vince McMahon's sixth pick for Raw here this evening. Something that I'm sure Cesaro is proud of because the sixth pick certainly is something to be proud of considering the great superstars here in WWE. Cesaro now looking to represent Raw in style. Although do keep in mind that these roster changes won't come into effect until following WrestleMania. So for the next two Raws and next two Smackdowns the rosters will remain as they are. But still we are on the verge of a new era and if tonight is anything to go by that era is going to be a special one. Nevertheless, our third match of the evening about to get underway. Bo Dallas taking on Cesaro. Cesaro just simply staring at Bo Dallas across the ring. Bo Dallas getting himself pumped up. Oh, but look at that. The European uppercut instantly by Cesaro. And Bo Dallas surely can't believe it. We saw Bo Dallas torn to the crowd, trying to get himself fired up. Although ultimately he got himself fired up for a devastating European uppercut. And this is why Vince McMahon picked Cesaro at such an early stage. The King of Swing now, showing why he is the King of Swing. The massive swing onto Bo Dallas. And look at this, Cesaro, one of the most popular superstars in the entire WWE. An absolutely terrible start for Bo Dallas. And things could be about to get worse. The neutralizer by Cesaro to Bo Dallas. One, two, three. And as quickly as this one began, or this one is over. One of Raw's newest superstar Cesaro and potentially what could be his final SmackDown match starting off in style, making short work of Bo Dallas and Cesaro leave the SmackDown victorious. What a night it has been. We have seen 10 plus drafts of both Raw and SmackDown respectively. We have seen a fantastic hardcore match which led to a brand new hardcore champion in Finn Balor. But the best is still to come because up next, it is tonight's main event for the first time ever. It is going to be the WWE Champion Seth Rollins taking on the World Champion The Undertaker in what is ultimately going to be a Raw vs Smackdown match. Although as we came into Smackdown, it was Seth Rollins representing the blue brand and The Undertaker representing the red brand. However, via the draft, that has now been switched as The Undertaker now a Smackdown superstar and Seth Rollins along with the rest of the Shield now officially a Raw superstar. These two men, of course, respectively, the opening picks for both Raw and SmackDown. And you've got to say, Vince McMahon and Mick Foley couldn't get much better than Seth Rollins and The Undertaker. So these two men now, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. Champion versus champion. No championship on the line. Nothing but pride in this one. Seth Rollins versus The Undertaker. WWE Champion versus World Champion. And Raw versus SmackDown. Undertaker versus Seth Rollins in tonight's main event of this very special edition of SmackDown. Both men in two weeks with two massive matches at WrestleMania. Undertaker will face Chris Jericho for the World Championship and Seth Rollins will face HBK Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship in a ladder match. Nevertheless, this one about to get underway. Seth Rollins versus The Undertaker. And here we go, referee ringing the bell. This one officially underway. But Seth Rollins wants no part of the dead man. More or less immediately leaving the ring. Although Rollins playing possum. Now attacking the dead man. And that early tactic may have paid off for the lead of the shield. Seth Rollins, the lead of the shield. Completely solo here tonight in this strictly one on one matchup. And again, Seth Rollins deciding 
He wants no part of the Phenom. Again, Sephiroth's retreating. But this time, the Big Evil ready for it. And look at this. The Undertaker going to work on the WWE Champion. We thought early on the tactics by Rollins worked perfectly. Although those tactics have now come back to bite him. Because with his action now on the outside of the ring. Again, champion versus champion. And take up the world champion. With his thunderous right hands to the WWE champion. Taker again now representing the blue brand and Seth Rollins along with the rest of the shield representing the raw brand. This great action continues now with the dead man into the still post. And this could be Rollins' opportunity. A high five move by the champion. And Taker's turn to be in trouble. The crowd on their feet. They are witnessing a very special matchup this evening. Not only is this champion versus champion. It's also Raw vs Smackdown, not to mention Seth Rollins facing The Undertaker for the first time ever in one-on-one -on -one action. And this great action continues and continues to go back and forth with Seth Rollins now repeatedly being thrown into the barricade. Undertaker picking the lead of the shield back to his feet. And now dragging him back into his yard. And the big dog that runs the yard. Back in the ring. Well the runners now. Sees an opportunity. And he's going to try and take full advantage of it. And a taker now. Throw first into that bottom rope. Don't forget Seth Rollins currently on a record setting WWE Championship reign. A reign previously set by CM Punk. The man that Seth Rollins defeated for that championship. Of course great history between CM Punk and Seth Rollins. And speaking of history, history could be made here this evening because we're going to take a now Seth Rollins on the top rope. Going for that super sidewalk slam. The Rollins reversing it. A great reversal by Rollins. And look at that, the Phoenix splash into the cover. This one could be over. Seth Rollins victorious. Not this time. The dead man kicking out. A glorious Phoenix Splash moments ago. Not quite enough for the victory, but a fantastic move nonetheless. But Seth Rollins now showing signs of frustration. The steel chair now about to come into play. But this match is not an ODQ match. And the referee taking the steel chair off Rollins. And Rollins distracted, allowing the Undertaker now to go for that tombstone. This one could be over, but Rollins find out of a tombstone. And he finally hits it. He attempted that move a couple of times, couldn't connect. That time could connect. Again, this one could be over. But Big Evil kicking out again. Another fantastic move by Rollins, but the world champion, The Undertaker, now representing SmackDown, kicking out yet again. Rollins again, showing signs of frustration. Put a big evil in the corner. Oh, but Undertaker there, the big boot. Kicked in the gut. And a snap DDT. Big evil now sees his own opportunity. And it could be time to go for a ride. Not any ride, but the last ride. But Rollins, another great reversal at the last ride. Taken out, sent to the corner. And miss a signature Rollins. Can he lift him? Yes, he can. Great strength. That straight by Rollins with the running buckle bomb. And the end could be coming. Seth Rollins now could be going for that curb stomp. Not this time. Undertaker catching the leg. Spinning him round. And here we go. Rollins now set for the ride. The choke slam. Signature dead man. And Taker torn to the crowd. And telling Seth Rollins to bring it. Taker could be moments away from victory. And what a massive victory it's going to be. Here we go. Last ride. A choke slam. A last ride. 
And I've got a fit of the taker. Could be girl for the exclamation point. Taker signaling for a tombstone. Here we go. Tombstone time. What the? The lights in the arena have completely gone out. We're in darkness. Oh, but look at this. Jericho attacking the dead man. Jericho, I guess you could say, we've got to take his own tactics. With the steel chair now from the darkness. Oh, but look. Jericho realises what he has done. And now escaping through the crowd. A sneak attack by the challenger. Come WrestleMania. And here we go. Undertaker, Chris Jericho now fighting in the crowd. These two men will face one-on-one -on -one at two weeks at WrestleMania. With Taker's World Championship on the line. Jericho, of course, a Raw Superstar. The Intercontinental Champion. Going face-to-face -to -face now with the World Champion. Oh, man, look who it is. One of SmackDown's newest superstars. Shawn Michaels now heading to the ring. The Shield attacking Michaels many times in recent weeks. Michaels now looking for some retribution. These two men, of course, will go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. The WWE Championship in a lot of match of all matches. What a fantastic match that one is going to be. As far as tonight goes, though, sweet music for the champion. Is this a sign of things to come? Come WrestleMania. And now we're looking at the next WWE Champion. What a show this has been. Thanks for watching. And we will see you all on the next one.